Yo, everybody, what's going on? Today we're just going to hang out and have a nice little conversation. That's the plan for today. I don't know what this video is going to be until I'm done with it, so I don't really know where this is going. There's a bunch of things I do really feel like I want to bring up, but I just felt like this has been long overdue. I haven't made a video like this in a crazy long time, so long that it even feels awkward standing here in my room talking to myself, because I, I don't know. Usually I'm playing a game. Now there's just a game going on in the background. Team Fortress 2. So you know it's probably one of the best videos I've ever made. 10 out of 10. Don't got to worry about that. But we're not talking about that. It has been a long time, so it does feel overdue. But also, I just came back from GamesCon out in Seattle, and uh, that was a great experience. I mean, I've been to a whole lot of Game Cons at this point, but I feel like that GamesCon in particular was one of my favorite. Thanks to everyone who helped make it great, but... Also, all the people who just recognized me or came up to me and Jed B. Jed B had a fan meetup that I always piggyback off of and just talk to people. And it just feels so nice. You don't understand to just be able to talk to people that you can see in the real world. You can see that they are real people that actually watch and really enjoy my videos. So that's kind of the main thing that inspired me to come back and uh, make a video like this one. But you have no idea doing YouTube videos. So much of it is just you, you finish something you worked hard on, you upload it, it gets a certain amount of views, and you're saying, okay, that video is blah, 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 views, but it doesn't really feel like real people are actually watching it. It's so hard to make that translation between, this is the view count, and those are actual people that enjoyed it and appreciated what you did. Most of them appreciated it, maybe, I don't know. There's got to be a certain ratio there. A lot of people who are just waiting to hate me. But the point is that it's just really great to actually meet the real people behind who enjoy what you're doing. I don't have a place where you can buy, like, T-shirts or donate to me. I don't have that stuff. If you ever wanted to donate to me, here's what you do. This is the thing that helps me out the absolute most. doesn't cost you no money. I don't care about no money. If you're a real person, not a robot, who watches my videos, just send me an email or a private message on YouTube or Twitch. Just let me know a little bit about who you are and then just that you like watching it. That's the biggest thing for me. Uh, it's a huge boost and, and I really should do this more. It's not just a faceless number that viewed my video X amount of times and I should feel good because this video had X amount more than the last one. Uh, being able to understand that those are real people that care and really liked it or who remembered a particular moment that you didn't think was funny, but they, they noticed it. You know, that's awesome. 99% of the time, I'm just alone in my room. You don't really get real feedback. YouTube comments section isn't real feedback. And most of, like, the sensible people that really appreciate what you're doing don't even comment in videos. And you never even know. And that's not just for me. If you appreciate anybody that does stuff on the Internet, I guarantee you they don't get enough people telling them that they actually appreciate what they do and matter. It just doesn't happen. Be a nice person. There's enough mean people. So that was really great. That was a lot of fun to get up there to GamesCon. A whole bunch of other stuff. I don't really want to get too much what happened at GamesCon. It really feels like the same old stuff that I saw last year. GamesCon, nothing was too different. But I always joke that I go to GamesCons to play games that I would play at homes anyway, which was totally true. The most fun I had, or like the best game that I thought was there, was Windowsill which I said was the best game that was there two games cons ago when it was like they were first showing it off. I've been playing that game once a week every time they updated it. I don't know if you know what the game is, but it's really fun. Been trying to play more. It's kind of like a leisurely thing that I do. I don't take playing very seriously, but if you start seeing it popping up in the lower corner of the YouTube video while you're watching it, that's a Steam integration that they have with YouTube now, and that might start showing up. It's very, very rarely anything Team Fortress or stuff like that. I just kind of play whatever random single-player indie games on there. I don't know. I don't know, dude. So if you do see that pop up on the lower corner of the screen, like, oh, cool, Casual's playing on Steam, and then you don't come up there, and don't be upset that it's not the game you thought it was going to be. So you know how it is. I just, there it is. It's not going to be that game, unless that game is Windowsill or Toki Tour. That game was fun. Anyway, on the topic of my channel videos, I kind of had another thing that I've really been thinking a lot since I came back from GamesCon, and this is going to get weird. I don't know how to get into this exactly and explain to you the thought process here, but the summary of what it is is that I really need to stop not making 
videos that I want to make. And to give you an uh, or an actual example here, bird video, Fidashinka. That video, if you haven't watched it, I like that a lot. I'm really proud of that video. It took me eight hours to make, but that was such a dumb decision to actually make that. You know, think about it. If it took eight hours to make bird video, I was actively working on that video for eight hours. I didn't upload any other videos during those eight hours because of how much I was working on it. I kind of laser focused onto it, and that's all I could think about, so I just only worked on that. Okay, eight hours of working on that. It comes out. It has less views than the TF2 video would have if I spent a few minutes making that. So already, horrible waste of time if you think about it that way. If I instead made five Team Fortress videos an hour for eight hours instead of making bird video Fidashinka, that just seems like it makes so much more sense to get more views than Toki Tori video did. There'd be five of them each hour, so there'd be 40. I can't even accurately express how much easier that would have made my life if I wanted to do that, but I don't. I love making videos that are much more involved, do something different. Even when I make TF2 videos, even if it's just like, here's just another I'm playing TF2, I try to fit in at least something in there that makes it feel fresh and new. And I know I don't have to do that, but that's that's just what I like doing. You can't do that every single day. You can't make something you're proud of every day. It just doesn't work. And if you try to just do bullshit every single day, like, how fun is that going to be next time? I'm just going to be, like, not into this at all. Whatever, back to the bird video Fidashinka thing, and despite how little sense it made to make that bird video, because again, it was a video, <laughs> it was a video about Ashinka's pets, for one, who cares, two, I could have had my channel taken down, because it's a video about birds, <laughs> like there's a whole set of animal rights laws, it just didn't make sense to make that video at all, but that's just what I wanted to make, I had a lot of fun doing it, I learned a lot making it, and... You know, if I'm to point back in time and say, here are the videos I'm proud of making, and I'm happy that I made, you know, that's way up there on the list. Had I made five Team Fortress 2 videos an hour for eight hours, I don't think it would be very memorable. I don't think I'd remember what happened in any individual video, but that seems like what a lot of people want, and I just really can't do that. I can't care to do that. And again, this is not me saying I'm done playing TF2, because people always take this to the most extreme level. Like, I've still been making TF2 videos for, like, two years. We'll get back on topic in a second, but the segue briefly here is, I used to dance a ton. I used to be really into expression, dance, all that kind of stuff. That was my life. The enthusiasm just slowly kind of died. And not really because I got bored of it, but just that same creative outlet that made dancing so fun for me, I just started pouring into making videos. And that was the creative new thing for me. I don't find a lot of time to dance anymore because I just don't feel like the need to go back to doing anything like that because I make videos all the time. And that's what videos are for me still. Like videos are, I want to sit down and make something that I think is awesome. It's creative and not just another episode of Prop Hunt. I don't know how people can do it. I know a lot of people ask about, you know, casting and I, th I think about that all the time I have not forgotten about casting it surprises me how many people request new videos that I used to make like that despite how long it ago it was that I actually made the last one so I know a lot of people actually want to see one of those maybe in the future we can I have a whole host of reasons why I haven't been able to do it and I'm sorry but it's uh it's become a bit more of a complicated situation like when your friends watch your videos. First video Jacob ever saw was mou.mov. A lot of suicide references in that video so he got a taste of that suicide references. I tried to make a cast video a few months ago just did not go that well. Even if I had finished it, it was just exceptionally personal. I don't think I would have uploaded it anyway. It's gotten a little bit weirder for me to uh share, you know, since when I used to do that. But also, slightly on that topic, uh, Team Fortress started allowing you to submit uh, hats. And there's like a Steam Workshop for, you know, their hats and stuff. So you can submit designs. Um, and there is something that I do have recorded that I think would work really well uh, for a hat. I just need to find a recording of me making it. Uh, I just need to find the actual hat. I think I have that, I, I don't know where the recording is so much, but I need to finish it. So that's a, that's a low priority thing for me right now, something I'm hoping I can do. Really looking forward to being told a hundred times that, you know, how much I abuse my fan base to, you know, get my hat on there, but 
back to being a lot of fun. I worry about that kind of stuff, and I think the solution is just to do nothing. Like, I could really, really prosper by not doing anything anymore. Anyway, back on topic to another example of that whole mindset of, I guess that hasn't really even happened yet. Upon coming back from GamesCon, I realized the Minecraft Story Mode was released, and I thought, you know, maybe if I spent like four or five days a week working on a Minecraft Story Mode video, I could create something that's pretty cool. I'd be happy and proud that and excited to see how I could uh, create this. And uh, again, it just doesn't seem sensible, because you're talking about a week on one video. That's a Minecraft Story Mode video. Who cares? I know a lot of you guys probably already just don't even care. A lot of you do, but it's so hard to, to cut the line between that and say, well, I could just make like 40 TF2 videos again in this eight hour section, and just know that that makes so much more sense and so much more less to think about. But this is a video that I want to make, and I hope it's something that people want to watch. It seems like something that people like. I mean, the uh, bird video feed of Shinky, even though I'm saying it has less views and I'm complaining about all these different things and now it's not reasonable to make, like, it has a ton of likes. People always mention it to me, like, people I talk to at GamesCon, that bird video was awesome, you know, that's great. It's just hard to sit down and focus and work on something like that. So it's not just, I want to make these type of videos, but I think they're definitely, as people watch this channel, they wish there was more of them. So I don't think I'm completely alone out here. And this is how I brought this up. I need to start making some videos that I want to make. Because even when doing this, I feel like, I feel like I know that this is going to take eight hours to finish. So, so I feel like I need to have some other stuff done while I'm working on that. So my channel isn't dead for eight hours while I'm working on one video. But then trying to get stuff to upload so that I can make this video for eight hours, if you get what I'm saying, like actually making those videos is distracting from making the Minecraft Story Mode videos. So I end up actually not doing either. It's just like a juggling act inside of my head where I'm like, oh, I can make these really quickly and I can get myself, I can buy myself enough time to make the video I want to make and then I can get that out. And it's just... Uh, they clash very, very poorly, and I'm very bad at handling that. So, a lot of times, eh, I just don't make the Minecraft Story Mode video. Again, not sensible. Tons of people are going to be making Minecraft Story Mode videos. I'm going to be uh, accused of copying at least three people, because I don't know, that's just what happens. I apparently copy people I don't know exist. People are going to tell me I get YouTube favors to make the video, which happens every time I make a video that isn't TF2, which is insane, because if you want to talk about YouTube favors... I'd get more YouTube favors if I just made those 40 videos every 8 hours, which I'm not doing. I don't care about that. I don't know. I just, you know, there's a certain type of video that I always have enjoyed making, and it absolutely takes the longest time to make. It's kind of a style of, you take a game and you twist it into something that actually isn't representative of what that game really is. So if you were to just play the game, it wouldn't be the same experience as watching the video. I made of the, which is hard to do. Most of the videos in the uh, TF2 and Blank Year series, the whole style I tried to go with, kind of touches upon what the game actually is. But you know, Counter Strike Source, that's not how that game really is. That's not what that game's about. Uh, Bird Video for Yudashinka, that game is three minutes of mildly interesting stuff and then three hours of learning what birds are about. So many people are like, you should do a let's play of this game. And no, that game's like three hours of nothing. It's not a fun game. I know. I sat there and I beat the whole thing and it was not an enjoyable experience. Nothing happens in that game. It's just three hours of nothing. Two to three minutes of maybe that's kind of fun. I think actually uh, Update Unstoppable is one of the first videos I made kind of in this new style. And that's part of the reason why Counter-Strike Source and Bird Video are two of my favorite videos on my channel. Because it's where I really started to realize what I enjoyed doing. And I learned enough editing to really somewhat pull it off and execute it properly. And I've just been getting better editing nonstop. I mean, uh, Bird Video taught me a ton at least to teach me how to do things very quickly it took me eight hours to wake it really only took eight hours because i kept redoing scenes and i got very quick at redoing them over and over again um uh counter-strike Swords. that video has nothing to do with counter-strike Swords. it even makes it seem like i hate that game but counter-strike Swords is one of my favorite games and uh bird video that is not that is not a video about birds or 
Toki Tori. If you want to hear some outsider details, I guess, about my channel, that bird video channel, to talk about getting YouTube favors to make videos, that is one of two videos in the entire time I've had this channel where I got some sort of YouTube favor, and yes, I got a favor for making it. And that video has nothing to do with Toki Tori. I can't believe they saw it and were like, ah, oh, it's okay, we'll give them the YouTube favor. Because, you know, the depths of that always make huge guidelines on what you need to do. And I didn't do any of it. And they were okay, and they still gave me the YouTube favors. I was just happy to get an early release of Toki Tori. I feel like I got away with murder on that one. Try and tell me what I can and cannot say about Toki Tori. I don't even know what that video is about. It's definitely not Toki Tori. But trying to think of, like, a topic off head. It was, like, about, you know, domestic animals. I, I, I would have made it either way. The only other one I made was the first uh, video on uh, TF2, and that was just because TF2 looked like a serious, promising action game, and I was going to make that video anyway. I don't really like that game anymore. It had some potential, got too weird, and, uh, yeah, not a fan anymore. Now, who paid me the YouTube favors to say that? Every time Jed B makes a video... You know, about something his friend says, they're like, oh, he got YouTube favors to say that. You guys don't understand how much of a stud this guy is. He loves, he loves hanging out on his couch, you know, talking to his friends. That's why he exists. He didn't get YouTube favors for that. He tries to, you know, get me on that couch every day. He should work for, uh, I don't know, whoever sells that stuff. He should, but he doesn't, okay? You know, I, I don't know. I felt like it would just be nice to be honest about some of this stuff, how I feel about my channel right now. Coming back from GamesCon and having those real chats with real people, and honesty is the best policy. So, uh, yeah, there's all that information if you want to, want, want to know anything like that. I don't know, I never really liked talking about YouTube as a, you know, profit thing. Yeah, so what, I got two YouTube favors, but as soon as you bring YouTube favors into the equation and really start... Talking to people about that, it just really taints everything. I mean, I'm just a dude. I like to make videos. Try to make my videos good enough that I have the opportunity to make another video. That's all I'm about. That's it. To just be in a place where it feels sensible and doesn't feel like a waste of time to make another video that I want to make. That's really what this is all about that I'm talking about here where, you know, Bird Video Fidushinka was not sensible. I cannot go on doing that. If I were only to make videos that took me like eight hours to make i would have to quit making them all together you know everybody needs their own puzzle pirates you know you can sit there and work on runescape forever and think that's the coolest shit ever and it's new and innovative but you'd better sell people puzzle pirates in the meantime and get a season pass for that because that's really sometimes in order to make the game you want to make you have to sell some season passes in your downtime i guess we'll see how the minecraft story mode video Turns out I've already spent about 10 hours on it. Seems like it's going to be awful, so I'm uh, pretty excited about that. <laughs> but at least it's weird in a different way and something that I haven't done before. So it's exciting for me to work on and just see where it goes and what I can learn from it. Because uh, fun is learning. That's it, guys. That's all I got. Hope you enjoyed this little heart-to-heart -heart or internet screen-to-internet screen. -to -internet screen. Um, I'm out of here. See you later.